Now I'm going to be discussing and demonstrating some mocap solutions. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Dynamic XYZ. Starting off, I'll be creating a project. Since we are using pre-existing footage, we'll be skipping the camera calibration section. Next, in the news tracking session, we'll be using Dynamic XYZ's example footage. Once the footage has been imported, you will be prompted to setting an initial frame. The section is important since the frame selection determines your base expression. Thus, you would want to have a neutral pose. Then, you'll be prompted to edit visual locators on landmarks of the brows, eyes, nose, and mouth. Make sure to place these markers on visible landmarks of the face. This will make tracking significantly more accurate. Once prepped and applied, the software will cycle through the footage and select several frames to sample. Note, sometimes Dynamic XYZ's profile sampling misses some specific frames. In this case, simply go to Session Mode and move the slider to the specific frame which you want to add and simply press Add the current frame to the profile. Then go back to Profile Mode to approve the edits, the profile markers. Once all the annotations have been checked, build the profile. This should take a moment. Then in Session Mode, you should be ready to track the whole timeline. After the timeline has been completed, you should see that there are colored curves on top of the footage. If everything has been done correctly, these curves should follow the actor's face movements. Once this is done, you are now ready to bridge Performer to Maya. In Maya's plugin manager, make sure that Dynamic XYZ Bridge is loaded. Then run the line DXYZ Bridge to connect the performer. While in Performer, under Face Entry Set, create a new character profile and link all the controllers onto the specific region of the face. After completing the profile, go into the Retargeting Profile mode. Similar to moving the markers on each of the sampling frames earlier, now pose and save the expressions built in Maya onto each of the profile expressions in Performer. Once this has been completed, build the retarget profile. Now you are able to solve the tracking in session mode. The tracking data in Performer will be directly transferred onto the Maya rig. After the animation has been processed, sometimes I like to add an extra layer of animation on top of the capture data. To do this, I simply select a controller and in the Anim sub-tab, create a new animation layer on top of the base animation. Then, add any extra animation I would want. 